Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 17 of We Happy Few. We are going to Gemma's house straight away. Luckily it's not far away from here. So we should shouldn't have too much of a problem. Okay, so there no, there's one of those thingies. I would really like to know. Oh wait, I think we have a lot of skill points, so maybe we should start investing in those again. So, what's happening here? Go out at night without the bobbies fussing at you. Witnesses will react more slowly to your trespassing, giving you time to run away. Curfew does not apply to player. Witnesses won't react as quickly when you're trespassing. I mean, I think that... Mm, I think that this is a major... I don't know, almost cheat to the whole game because it is one of those one of the mechanics of the game that at night you will get caught. But on the other hand, it's also really annoying to always have to sneak around. So of course I'm going to buy it. But I think it's a good thing that it's only acquirable after some time that you played the game. So you also had to experience. Oh no. Okay, so that's that's coming change. from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. What? What's coming from Gemma's house? Oh, I think I'm on the wrong street. <laughs> I think I need to go around the block. There are so many bobbies here, and they're in groups. Okay, I'm I'm glad that we. Okay, so what's going on here? First of all, this is a pretty house that you have here, I Gemma. I old home and in bed now. It's very dangerous to be out in the fog. Foggy Jack will take it personally. <laughs> I'm sure you're all at home and ready for a bedtime story. You're so creepy. Ugh. Um, okay, so quiet zone. Oh well, I think I'm just... No! What? Who are you? Okay, something happened here. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. No. Well, me too. So, what's going on in here? So yeah, I know I'm nothing, no, I'm not better than her because I'm just going to her house to find out if she's dead or not so I can take her place. And then I'm going to steal her berries. There are no blueprints here to use. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Can I turn this off somehow? Yeah, kill the alarm, that's a good idea. I'm going to kill the alarm first, because this is annoying. There's still someone here. I swear by all that is holy, if I find one oh. toy train in your swag bag, I'm going to knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo, turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm going to have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh! Bloody hell! Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs> yeah. That serves you right. Oh. So, what's he got there? And how do I get up there now? I mean, there's... Wait, there's a window? So, he just got shocked. I'm probably gonna get shocked too. Maybe I can... Oh no, I left my cat suit behind. No! Why did I do this? Oh no. Oh well. Oh. 
So I have to kill the alarm. Does it really say that it's upstairs? Hmm, sure seems like it. Oh well. Yeah, it's up here. So... Drop some stuff, Arthur. Or it's mm -hmm. gonna be tediously slow going. Oh great. Okay, I'm gonna drop some stuff. Also, I just found out that we can do some enhanced healing bomb now. Some medicated bomb. Which should heal us a little bit better. So we need to get there. So maybe it's through this door, but I'm scared. Oh, ouch. Okay, so it's starting now. Oh, well. Let's get in here. Okay, so it doesn't get to us in here. That's useful. Okay. Let's hope that we can get to the box through here. Yes. That's it. Okay. Okay. My ears should recover in a few days. Yeah. That was an annoying sound. So, what do you have here, Gemma? Is there anything good? Okay. Uh, if this is another empty desk. I will never pick open a desk again. I mean, no, I will not keep my voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. What? Who just said that? Oh no! Is Gemma still here? I'm sorry, Gemma. I didn't mean to. In my defense, I thought you were dead. Oh no, she's here. I am not upset. I'm happy as a clam. You have no right to touch me. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me. You know perfectly well I've taken my joy. You can't take me away. I'm not sick or unhappy. Help! Police! Help! Someone stop them! Where are they taking her? Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? Oh no. Oh no. What's this? Personalized care. From the desk of Dr. Anton Verloc, Haverth Labs. Dear Mr. Mrs. Thank you for your recent letter. The symptoms you described, anxiety, guilt, and hunger, are all signs of joy withdrawal. I assure you that your troubles are all in your head, even though they may feel very real to you. A modest increase in your joy dosage should do the trick, but special cases may receive personalized care at Haverth Labs. Any doctor can arrange your passage to our facility. Yours most sincerely, Dr. Averlov, scribbled in red pen, but do they ever come back? So wait, this this is the same letter that one of those corpses in the middle of the road had on him. Only was personalized back then. Okay, so is this maybe something like... So do they keep these people? Oh no. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires have to be invited in. Downer! <gasps> that ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Oh, my God. oh come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. These, these doctors are so scary as well. <laughs> Every one of these people is scary. <sighs> I'm loaded again. With what? I think I'm carrying too many metal bits. Still can't carry a lot now, but... What's going on? 
So what's in here? If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Notes. What's this? Have a flap, top secret. My memo number one. Darling, you said, I don't suppose you have a better idea. Here is my idea. Let me ask the witches. I know, I know, they're superstitious idiots, but they were always talking about psychoactive herbs and they were actually rather clever women when my mom had them over. And they know every weed and stingy hallucinogenic frog on all the homes. And I've been racking my brain about the inventory problem. I don't think we're going to find any more caches of old German goodies. Sally. Added in Gemma's handwriting. June-ish, 1961, I think. Sally Boyle's handwriting, presumably to Dr. V. Oh, so she calls him darling, too. Memo number two. Beloved, please don't be cross. Just because they don't have university degrees in science doesn't mean they don't know any science. You've got to stop underestimating people who don't think the way you do. Are you sure you're not thinking about this emotionally? And I know how you hate that. St. John's Ward does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and it does make sad people less grumpy, for example. We could advertise the new compound as a different flavor of joy. Strawberry, say. Wouldn't that sound jolly? If some people take to the new flavors, then our supplies could last a few years longer. Possibly till 1964. And by then, maybe the monkey will learn to talk. Just give it a ponder, please. For your Sally. Gemma's handwriting, Julie-ish, 61. Sally again. This was from the time where Sally and Haworth were, were working together still. And Sally proposed something more natural to consult some witches who know the herbs on the islands. Okay, let's keep reading. Memo number three. No, I don't care that you took credit for strawberry. I don't care who gets credit so long as people are happy. And I certainly was not trying to impress the general. No, I'm worrying that you promised a permanent solution. Of course you know far more about biochemistry than I do. But I've never heard of a drug that permanently alters brain chemistry. Is that even possible? Is there a mechanism? Can you just chemically burn out all the sad receptors in the brain? The only permanent solutions I know involve electroshock or surgery, and then we're back to phrenology. I think I read people a little better than you do, darling. The general is all very affable, but we've now promised him results, and we all know what happened to the last guy who didn't deliver him results, you know? Please tell me what's on your mind, would you, Sal? So. so this is now not Sally XOXOXO anymore. Okay, so the strawberry flavored um joy is actually a different formula as far as i can i get it oh okay so this, so the strawberry joy is has something different in it some um, i don't know some plants that are said to make people less grumpy and this is what's in a strawberry joy huh is this why we take is this why arthur is always taking strawberry joy I don't know. Okay, this is getting better and better. I'm still overburdened, I know. So, what's this? Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Oh, look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? Mm -hmm. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. So, what's this? If I read it top to... Someone has a permanent solution to the joy problem, says Miss Snuck, but won't say who. There's a joy problem? Permanent solution doesn't sound ominous at all. Bottom then right to left. The locks looking for a permanent solution. Oh, well, that's not ominous at all. Solution to what? Oh no. Uh, is he now operating on people? These doctors are so creepy. Oh, okay, so now we're in the greenhouse again. Okay. I think that's a good place to maybe we can cr 
craft something more that will get rid of some of the heavy stuff in our inventory. I don't know. Shall we do another head knocker? Is this... Hmm. Rick the stunt duck. You know, let's craft one of this. No, we're still too heavy. Okay. Well then, I'm going to sort out a little bit and then I'm going to get back to you. Okay. I dropped some rubbing alcohol. Well, I guess I'll better go see what's going on on this motoline regulation unit. What? Maybe the answer's there. No, 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 no. Okay. That was a quick runaway, but I'm not too sad about this. No. Nope. So what's here? Oh, so this is where we need to go now. Is this a safe house? Oh, wait, don't we have a boiler suit? Let's see if we can fit in. Oh, now I'm not trespassing anymore. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Well, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Okay. Will this really work? Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll, I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? No. <laughs> Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. Oh no. I'm sorry. Okay, they're just unconscious. They are just unconscious. On the other hand, it looks like I can get down now. So, is anyone else having something interesting here? Okay, so this is not. So this is not a hideout. This is actually the real pipe system, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I think it's time to put on a mask. Okay. Ooh. October is fire safety month. Oh well, is it October now or so what's in here? I can't run with all this stuff. Oh throw something away before something starts chasing you. Yes, Arthur in a bit. Lead pipe could be useful as a weapon, but I'm already heavy enough. I think I. Ew, it's a dead red. Okay. I don't want to search this dead red now. Power's out on the elevator. I need to find a way to turn the juice back on. Oh, wow. So. Hello there, Nigel. Luckberry. To Dr. Burlock from Alfred Southwick, supervisor. 
Urgent joy request. Dear Dr. Verloc, my man seemed to have received a weak batch of joy. That is, it makes him half as happy. Unfortunately, it makes him just as foggy. As a result, they have been doubling up on joy and this is making them rather too foggy to work. Could you please send a regular strength ration of joy as soon as possible? Is Blackberry a possibility? Hmm. So we have heard about this Blackberry a few times now. Bad joy. She was really onto something, wasn't she? So there has been a few times that there's was mentioned that Blackberry was mentioned here, right? Could this be something that Sally is working on? Could this be the plant joy that the maybe Sally wants to distribute now by herself? I mean, she said that she is the enemy of Verloc now because she's the concurrence. Oh, that this requires power. So, what's happening here? Can we patch this or not? Oh. We just need to turn it off. Hello there. To Jim Watt from Alfred Southwick. Dear Mr. Watt, one of my workers has made an artwork out of live electrical wires. Although the boys are quite fond of it, it is creating a hazard. The tenor of our tunnel rats quartet was electrocuted this morning. We are not able to get past the sculpture to reach the rest of the facility safely. Could you kindly turn off the sector's power grid just long enough for me to remove the artwork? Oh well. It really seems to have been a little bit... I don't know, confused? Employee contest, best idea for conserving motiline, win fabulous prizes. Oh well. Hello, Ned. What's here? A second resublimation of the thiomotiline crystals might enhance the endochronic properties. If we were truly able to enable the endochronic properties, we could use the same crystals indefinitely. I have no idea what that meant, but if they say so. Okay, but what are we going oh, to- oh, there's another door. I know I should drop some stuff, but... Municipal Utilities. Oh well. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, something more to read. September 10th, 1964. To Alfred Southwick from Trisha Reeve, Department of Archives. We are all dismayed to learn of your Glee Club's misfortune. I am enclosing two copies of Form A221, Unexpected Staff Holiday, which must be completed in triplicate, as well as one copy of Form FIN C753, Departmental Budget Adjustment Report. These should be fa filled in and returned within three days. Cheers, Trisha Reeve. Oh, okay, so there are forms that the boss has to fill out case of, well, a sudden holiday of his workers. So, I don't really know. Where is the power? Oh, this is the power button. Very good. So, did I miss some evidence here now or not? Is there something to watch? No. Hmm. So, where's the missing evidence? Where's the evidence that I'm missing? How do I cross that platform without getting electrocuted? Oh. Now make sure there isn't a short circuit before- <laughs> Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. <laughs> I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Oh well, these people are in the, <laughs> the smartest. So, wait, I should be- ah! Okay, what if I do- oh no, this is like called. 
Ah, oh no. I think I know what to do now. Do I have to pick them up and throw them in? Just to... Oh no. Okay, but I think I need to run fast for this, so... I'll be right back again. Okay, drop some more rubbing alcohol. And now... I'm sorry. Well, this is kind of morbid, but okay. Victory day. To all employees from Alfred Southwick. September 29th, 1964. It has come to my attention that certain employees are using live wires as victory day sparklers. Let, re let me remind you that victory day is not for several more months, besides which... The sparklers are a safety hazard. On the subject of safety hazards, whose turn is it to empty the rain buckets? I found four of them overflowing on Tuesday. Kindly do not let this happen again. A.S. Well, I dare to say that these workers are a little bit incompetent and a little bit chaotic it seems. But still, this wasn't evidence. So, there should be someone else in here, right? Hello there, dead rat. Oh, it's on the rubber duck. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this. Hmm. But... Oh no. <laughs> okay. I just, oh well, I just threw away four rubbing alcohols just to pick them up again. Yes. So, no more rubbing alcohol for me. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here first. Hello? Magnificent Muffins. To whom it may concern, from Tommy Flanders, Supervisor Unit 9. We've had a bit of an accident. Henrietta made muffins for the bake sale, but mistakenly used the almond gas for flavoring. She's now gone on holiday and I've given my staff leave until further notice. Meanwhile, do not eat the muffins or enter Sector 3 without a gas mask. Cheers, Tommy. She accidentally poisoned the muffins. Even on Joy, people aren't that stupid. Unless there's something wrong with the Joy. Yeah. So I'm really not sure. I mean, is this Sally's doing? Is this a Joy? Is this some Joy that's weaker or something? Because Sally is doing her own joy now her own joy with herbs and it's not working as well i don't know okay so there's nothing to do here why am i here why did i pick this lock oh well let's just continue i always wanted to drive one of those things they sort of look like tea kettles don't they how have I not noticed that? This is Chippy Park. Okay, so there is no way in here. Where can I go here? I don't know if I was supposed to go this way or not. Maybe I do. Okay, I'm just gonna. I wanna go back and I just wanna try open this door. I guess maybe it won't open anyway, but let's find out. No, oh, it is. Oh, someone drew in here. Okay. What's a lightning rod? I think I want to take it, but I guess I'm overburdening and then overburdening myself again. I can't run with all yes. this stuff. So what is this? Away before something starts chasing you. I don't really see this lightning rod. Is it a quest item, maybe? Yes. No. It's another one. I don't know. I can't find it. No. So. Oh, there's another one of it.
So, I mean, I read a lot here now, but none of this seem to be the evidence I'm looking for. But nonetheless, this is interesting. I'm really excited to find out what's going on here. What's this? Okay, well, a lot of dead people. Oh, this is a jubilator. So... I think we have to climb a little bit, maybe? Hmm. Okay, I think... No, we can't access through here anyway. We need to go here mm, no ah this is how we get in yes so that batches of joy to dr burlock from tommy flanders september 29th 1964. Thank you for your response to my letter about bad batches of joy. While I appreciate your offer, if I send any employee who has a problem with the recent batch of joy to Haverth for your experimental treatment, you'll have my entire bloody staff knocking on your gate. I hope you've got a plan B regards Tommy Flanders. If the joy's going bad, that'll drive the entire town crazy. Yeah, I definitely will. So, but, I'm going to eat something now. Let's eat some stew. It definitely will. So, Haver's only answer <laughs> to, the, to the people who, who experience some bad joy is to send them to his clinic. I'm really scared of what happens at this clinic. I don't really want to know because I don't I think it's good. There's not supposed to be quite so many red lights on this board. Oh, I don't think so either. Hmm. Okay, so what's this? September 9th, 1964 to Alfred Southwick from Dr. Verloc. Dr. Dear Mr. Southwick, thank you for your recent memo. We are experiencing a temporary problem while we adjust the joy formula slightly to take advantage of some new materials. Meanwhile, it can't hurt if they double their dosage, can it? The more the merrier. Adjusting the formula? New materials? Well, that sounds encouraging. And when people sound encouraging in Wellington Wells, something terrible is usually happening. Yeah, I think so too. So what's this? So are we done now or not? Is this is it done? Okay, so this quest is done, it seems, because I can't oh well. Maybe something will occur if we climb out again. Thought so. Whoa! It is becoming rather unhealthy in here. Maybe I'll be safer in the jubilator. Mm hmm. Well, this lever doesn't look too safe either, but okay. Oh, it still works. Okay. Oh, what's happening here? How do I... Well, this is the slowest roller coaster I've ever been on. strange. 
I want to keep going forever. Who oh, no. Activate ludicrous speed. Oh yeah, I definitely want to do that. Woo! So, it's oh, shit. oh, okay. This is a fun thing. I want to go again. Oh, thing now looks so sad. Okay, I'm gonna pick another desk. Let's see. Okay, there was something in. Okay. Sorry, can't stay. So, will this door open now again? I hope so. <laughs> yes, I want to keep going. Yay! Oops! Oh shit! <laughs> Oh no! No, my jubilator! <laughs> so there's an exit door here, I think, but I'm gonna have to turn on some power switches. Oh well. Aww. That was so much fun. Bobbies get around. Oh, I wonder if they ever get stuck. That could get awkward. <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. So this is like one of the, so this is like with those Futurama tubes. <laughs> That's interesting. So what there's someone there. But how do I get so do I jump down or what? Yeah, I guess I have to. Oh my god. What? There you are. When did you come down and we'll have a chat about loyalty? No, don't be a big old blouse, laddie. I'm just having fun with you, aren't I? Come on down and let's have a laugh. What? What? My name's not Peter. I'd love what? to stay here, but I can't. Where's the door? So apparently the jubilators aren't always nice. But was it really looking for me? I mean, my name's not Peter. Oh well. Don't breathe the fog. Don't forget that thing you forget. Do not take your mask off to sing. Put gas mask on before taking joy. These things are so funny. Oh. It's a car wash and we need a worker's key card. Oh wait, I'm walking in the wrong direction. Oh no. Okay, I can just pass it. Just to turn on this bloody door. Mm, I guess we need to follow the cables. I sort of think this place is about to explode. Definitely looks like it. Okay, so there's an elevator. Oh, it's another drawing request. 
To Dr. Verloc from Penelope Snug, urgent joy request. Dear Anton, my workers seem to have received a weak batch of joy. That is, it makes them half as happy, unfortunately makes them just as foggy. As a result, they have been doubling up on joy and this is making them rather too foggy to work. They no longer remember to put on their gas mask. Halford Glee Club has gone on holiday from taking off their masks to sing. Situation urgent, please advise. A part of this letter we already read, right? Workbank, workbench upgrade kit. Hmm. Oh, I hope it's not too heavy. Maybe if I hadn't smoked of in high school, I could carry a bit more. Oof. Well, this is looking worse and worse and worse. There were more green dots on Apple Home before, right? Hmm. So, let's take the elevator up. What's happening here? It's a key card. Why can't I pick it up? No. Do I have to search him? Yes. Oh no, I need to take it too. Okay. No. Oh, there's another There's another floor we can go to. Well, let's take a look. What's this? Okay, that's one. Huh. Two more, I think. Okay. I don't know, these elevators don't look safe as well. I mean there's not there's no railing or anything. No wonder all her, all her stuff is dying. So unsafe here. I have a lot of rotten potatoes. I have a lot of scotch that I don't really use. I think I'm gonna drop all the scotch. Yeah. We don't need alcohol. So... <laughs> Jubilator speed testing. I don't think that this is... This Door is powered yet, is it? I need the switches to turn on this no. bloody door. Oh, okay, so I need to turn on all the switches before. Yeah. Um. So, the car wash. Now we can enter it. There's the power room. How am I supposed to get across? Oh, finally, a memory. I really hope that I didn't, you know miss too much miss too many memories i i don't know i was looking though percy what are you doing i'm swimming oh good christ where are your clothes percy where are your clothes So, what's in here? Oh, it's the jubilator wash. Proper use of jubilators to all employees from Penelope Snug. Please note that the proper function of a jubilator is to dispose of downers who have gone on holiday in public and to diffuse airborne joy to citizens who may have forgotten to take their pills. A jubilator is not a mechanical steed for jousting and betting. We are becoming quite short-handed as a result of this, two of this tomfoolery since the cockpit burns up when one jubilator smashes another. They are almost invincible except for the electrical issue we are working on but even a rock can be broken by another rock it has further come to my attention that certain employees attempted to sabotage jubilators to gain advantage in illicit competitions perpetrators will be caught and damage will be docked from their pay penelope p.s kindly do not sound the tootlers indoors it alarms the secretaries <laughs> oh wow it must have been a fun time before all the people killed themselves here Oh, the jubilators are just to suck in corpses. Oh wow. Good morning, dear friends. Good morning to you. Well, I was 
So what's here? It's just a teacup. Okay, so can we get a wash here too? Maybe we shouldn't. I'm not getting past oh. those jets without getting poached like an egg. Can I turn them off? Well, I thought I can sneak under them, but I apparently ah. Okay. Well, it was kind of it was quite obvious. Hmm. Okay. What? How? I just turned them off, didn't I? Oh, maybe I need, just need to sprint. Okay. Yes. So, is there anything else? One more. Mm -hmm. So where are we going if we follow this? Can we follow it? I don't know. Uh, I'd rather not risk it, so let's just... Let's just go on, and I think we've been here. We've been here in the first, right? So we must have missed the switch. Mm. Sight, doesn't anything work around here? No, it definitely doesn't. Oh, it's Electrolock Shocker. Jubilator weaknesses. Thomas, I tried to slow down Peter's Jubilator like you asked, but they're robust buggers. Turns out a Jubilator only has three weaknesses. One, a big electric shock. Two, bashing open the rear access panel and extracting the activator. Three, there might only be two, come to think of it. Obviously, none of these things is exactly subtle. Please advise, M. Hmm. So did someone try to manipulate... Just jubilators. What can I sap it with? Hmm. Probably with this. So, but... I don't know, why do I need to zap this again? No. I still haven't found this power switch. Sight, doesn't anything work around here? No. Ah. I think if I redirect the motor lane to power the grid. So. What about? Oh wait, there's another pipe. So there's more wheels to turn. Is that it? Did that do the trick? No. Okay, so maybe there's another one somewhere. Hmm. There oh, here's another one. Okay. Is that? Oh wait, there's something flowing here. So did we do it? That it? Yes. It's a shock grenade. Probably need to pick this up. I'll drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be oh, tediously great. slow going. Hmm. I'm going to drop. So maybe I'm going to drop this mask. I'm going to put this one on. So it was almost this was almost broken. So oh wait, I didn't flip the switch. Now I do. Right. Okay. No, bloody door now, I hope. I hope so too. Okay, let's go. Other direction. Okay. Yes. No betting, no jousting. Absolutely no betting on jousting. <laughs> okay. Ooh. You're gonna run me down with that thing! Not that you've gone fast enough, you rotten fool! What? I'm sorry, no, I'm Let's have a constructive conversation. Has my 
What? Oops. Oh wait. Stuck as a bug on a drug. Oh wait, it puts us on joy. Ah. Although, so it said that it gets hurt by electricity. So where are my throwables? <laughs> Maybe. No. So. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go throw this shock grenade at him. Maybe. Maybe I should have collected more of those, um, the lightning rods. So, how do I use this? No! I'll throw it too. No! I'm taking it again. So what does this? I don't know. Hmm. I wish I could throw something at it, but I don't really have anything. I mean, this one grenade did a lot of damage. Maybe if I throw a banger? No, that doesn't really do anything. Because I don't really have anything. Oh, the electric truncheon, maybe? I thought that maybe we could do some damage with those... Um, with those hacking devices. But apparently not. So. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to leave again. I'm gonna run up and hit it! That? I did not expect. Ew. Um. Hey there. Oh wow. Thank God you came when you did. I didn't realize he was patriotic like that. Look, I'm, I'm doing a newspaper story uh, about how well you're all holding up down here. I think I've read that article a few times. How well are you holding up down here? On good days, we get more things working than break down. And on bad days? Like today, look, there's a big electronic board down there. Tells us what's broken. Ironically, that works perfect. Here's a diagram. Oh, look, it's time for my tea break. ta -ra! This isn't a diagram. It's a letter. A permanent solution. Again? What kind of permanent solution is he thinking of? Whatever it is, I bet that's what got Gemma taken away by the doctors. Oh no. So, can we read this too? Yes. October 4th, 1964. Dear Penelope, I received your note about the latest batch of joy. You did the right thing in writing to me directly. Antra News, I am working on a permanent solution that will render our current joy program obsolete. But you didn't hear it from me. Warmly, Anton. Please convey my warm regards to Richard. I've been meaning to have you both round to dinner. It's been too long. Okay. Well, this all doesn't sound too good. Oh, it's a power cell. Oh, well. Hmm. At least they decorated this place here a little bit. So... Is there anything else to pick up to read? Jubilate your quick start manual. S get into the cockpit, push the go button, go. Oh, that sounds easy. 
Oh, something else. From Penelope Snug. To Thomas Horner. I am so sorry to inform you that your promotion to second shift supervisor has been denied on account of your behavioral infractions. I am shocked to learn that gambling is going on here. When Peter explained the situation to me, I had no choice but to make him supervisor instead. P.S. In light of your precarious position here, I would not be making book on any Guy Fox Day jousting tournaments if I were you. P.P.S. If you persist in proclaiming your innocence, then I suppose I didn't owe you 10 quid for the Grand Derby, do I? A permanent solution. Again. From Peter Thump. To Penelope Snug. I don't like to be a teller of tales, but Thomas Horner is the one making book on the jubilator races. He's always tempting us to bet than taking our money. Other people's money, I mean. I never bet myself. I also believe he's monkeying with the jubilator's speed dials to fix the races. Many workers, not me of course, get in debt to him and are forced to hand over their paychecks. I thought you would want to know, since you put such trust in him. Oh, so... So Peter Thumb, this is who we talked to. Was the other guy who attacked us Horner? Hmm. So, what's this? Electricity can overload the jubilator and cause massive short circuit. Pilot is trapped inside. Fix this. Do not eat my yogurt. Best workbench. Is there anything more I can... No. No, I don't know. I can craft anything. I can do a normal work bench too. I wonder if that's what I need to kill this berserk tea kettle. Where did I see a shock grenade now? Where is it? I want it. Or wh what? What? Use the better chemistry set. Well, nope. Okay, so let's leave this place. This is pretty nice in here. I don't know, are there visitors coming here too, or...? Okay. Oh, well. So... That was exciting. Anyway, so this is... Well, this episode is going on for really long. This will be a special length episode, I guess. But... We're going to report back to Mrs. Elephant um, in the next episode. And thank you for mu so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.